Joshua Weisman is probably my favorite chef on YouTube. Actually, he's probably in my top three of favorite YouTubers. And he just came up with a video about making chow, 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 chow mein at home. And I personally love that type of food, so does my partner. And because I wanted to start a new segment on the show where I try new things and show them to you that if I can do them, you can probably do them because let's be honest, I'm not very good at a lot of things. But cooking is something I've always really enjoyed, but I did the same recipes over and over and over again. With that, I will say I've done two of Joshua Weissman's recipes and they turned out fantastic. It was his $2 burrito and his homemade Wendy's chicken nuggets recipe. And this seemed fun and easy, easy enough that I could film it because I don't really have a kitchen set up that allows me to film this kind of stuff, but I do have a love for food and a love for sort of cooking and also making videos. So with that, we are going to make his butt cheaper chow mein. So as Papa Weissman would say, let's make this, shall we? Okay, so what I'm gonna do to make this super easy is I'm gonna get all the ingredients ready and then we'll put them all together and make the meal. So, step one is to cut all of the veggies and then we'll prepare the stuff for the sauce and then we'll do the other miscellaneous stuff that I probably missed and then we'll put it all together and we'll make chow mein. Okay, so you're going to chop seven cloves thinly sliced. So I'm gonna mince these bad boys up into tiny and next we gonna take that garlic put it in this bowl to save for later next step okay so we're gonna prep all the veggies now because i don't want to do it later the first one is as i'm waving my knife this seems dangerous three and a half cups of napa cabbage thinly sliced okay cabbage off to the side. Staging all my ingredients over there to make this look good. Next up is two things of green onion. You're gonna chop the hairy bits off like he said. And then it's one inch segments. Next is one carrot julienne, which I think means, I, th I think, I think that means peeled. So, oh, one, one carrot julienne. Chicken thighs. One inch segments, diced. I hate chicken. For the sauce, you're gonna add one and a half tablespoons or 22 grams of rice vinegar, two and a half tablespoons or 38 grams of soy sauce, two tablespoons or 40 grams of hoisin sauce, one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. And then we're gonna mix that all together. Okay, with all the ingredients prepped, now we can start assembling and cooking this just like Papa Josh would. Okay, first thing to do is going to be to season the wok. Now, unfortunately, I have crappy burners, but still can do this all the same. So you're gonna add just enough vegetable oil to cover the bottom. That probably is too much. And then once that heats up, you're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna season the wok. I've only done this once in my entire life. Okay, once it's all the way hot, which also, this is a really weird setup. My kitchen is so small. You're gonna swirl this bad boy. Oh, it's smoking. You're gonna swirl it, swirl it, and try to get up on that side over there. Come on, get up there, get it, get up there. Yeah, okay, I think that's, that's probably good. I'm gonna go ahead and Kill the heat, then you drain the excess oil, and then uh, we're gonna do the noodles. Everything else, this is very stressful, it's very hot in here. I do not like the small kitchen setup. This is this was a terrible idea. I almost forgot the last step is you're gonna wipe it out with a paper towel to where it's shiny like a universe, get up on the edges, just like, just like so. Just like that, I don't know why I slip into a southern accent when I cook, but uh, there we go. Walk is seasoned. Next step is gonna be the noodles, we're going to Bring a pot boiling. I've got these chow mein noodles from my local Asian food market, which I absolutely love. And we're gonna cook them for 20 seconds until soft. And then we're gonna strain them and cool them, all that good stuff. Now, one thing he did say is that, you know, you cook them according to the package instructions, because his packet was different. His was like 30 to 45 seconds. Mine says 20 seconds. We're gonna cook them, make that happen, this boil. And then I think it's, 
the start of cooking this. This is the most chaotic video I think I've ever made in my life. Okay, next in our wok over medium high, we are going to heat up a little bit more of vegetable oil. He said just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Small puddle, it looks like a small puddle to me. And then we're gonna basically wok cook the chicken. I uh, would cook chicken, two batches, one inch cubes, boneless chicken thighs, uh, until all the way cooked them, we're gonna set them off to the side. And then that's in the video when he says you can start prepping all of your other veggies. Should, I, I did all mine ahead of time, cause I'm just, 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 just like that. Um, here we go. Okay, all the chicken is done. Now we're going to add just a little bit of vegetable oil to bottom of... All right, that was a little bit too much. Hold on one second. All right, that's better. And we're going to add in the green onion. And then we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Okay, at 30 second mark, we're gonna add a quarter of that garlic that we set off to the side in the beginning. Just get that in there. And we're gonna cook this until the garlic is golden brown and there's some color for the green onion. Okay, once the green onion and garlic are going brown, you're gonna add your carrots and celery. Now here's the thing, you're gonna notice, I didn't do celery. I don't like celery, too crunchy, not a fan. You're gonna cook the celery and carrots if you're doing celery um, uh, for two to three minutes. Okay, next, crank it up to high, add in cabbage, a little bit more oil. This is what I saw in the video. And then he said, stir fry the absolute piss out of it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stir fry the absolute piss out of it. Okay, we cranked up to high. You're supposed to do it until it's basically, yeah, wilted and charred and nice. You're gonna crank that back down to medium low or medium high. You're gonna add your chicken back in and then you're gonna stir fry this for about 30 seconds to heat back up the chicken. Okay, next we add a cup of bean sprouts. He says it's okay, even though I guess they're not normally. I love bean sprouts, let's put them in. I'm gonna stir fry this for about 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. We'll say, just right here, this this what we got going on. I feel like I absolutely destroyed everything. I feel like I just shredded everything. I also, my partner came out because it smelled good and they told me I did the carrots wrong. So, ha, <laughs> newsflash. I cooked the carrots wrong, or cut it wrong. Okay, you're gonna add the noodles first, plop those bad boys in, and you're gonna stir fry this for about uh, 45 seconds. Now I have no wok skills, so I gotta make this work. Urgh. Okay, and then now we're gonna add, where did my sauce go? Add all of the chow mein Sows. I have no idea what my personality is when I cook, but this is not abnormal. I'll tell you that right now, and then you're gonna stir fry this a little bit more until the sauce is well incorporated. Then you add two tablespoons of water and stir fry a little bit more. Okay, now the last step is you cut the heat and add your remaining garlic that we chopped earlier in here like that pop, 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 pop. and then stir fry <laughs> break your stove and then stir fry some more okay so that is it i guess we plate i i just gotta say mad respect to josh for making these videos because i am sweating my walk is heavy i am dying and i feel like it doesn't look half bad let's plate it this is the worst plating ever in the history of plating. I don't know how you play chow mein. Okay, so I definitely don't know how to plate chow mein. And I think I'm pretty much out of chopsticks. I'm also really bad with chopsticks. But um, I guess we taste test and see. Okay. <laughs> For someone that's never made chow mein, and I burned my wok, I don't think this is like a non-stick wok, I got it for pretty cheap, so probably a mistake, chicken spurned on the bottom. Um, this is actually really good. Now, this is obviously all because of Joshua's 
recipe. I definitely don't think it had anything to do with me because my cooking skills are subpar at best, but this is surprisingly, like really surprisingly good. And not because I thought the recipe would be bad, more because I thought that maybe I would kind of mess it up. But if you ever go to Panda Express and you pay like 10, 15 bucks for this, this was super cheap to make. And honestly, really fantastic. That's good. Holy shit. Damn. Okay. This has been episode one of Odie Tries. Odie Tries Joshua Weissman recipe. Two thumbs up, five stars. Great recipe. Uh, go follow Joshua's channel. If you want an actual video on how to make this like step by step from a professional in a professional kitchen, watch this video. Um, thank you. Like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Try this recipe and I'll see you uh, next time.